we're going to look at how to add and customise animations in RPG Maker's database. Animations can be used in battles and on the map scene to add special effects like sword slashing, elemental attacks and more. You can also use animations in creative situations to make scenes in your games pop. An animation's name is how it will be identified in the database, and it has no impact on how it will be shown in game, so you can call it whatever you'd like. The display type is where the animation will appear over a target. You can also select the line bottom to align the animation based on the bottom edge of the target image. The file name is which file will be used from your project's effects folder. Animations for RPG Maker MC are made with a third-party particle animation software called Effexia. It is possible to use this software to make frame-by-frame -frame animations like in previous iterations of RPG Maker, and you are also able to import animations from RPG Maker MV's database. The scale is what size the animation will be played at. This can be anywhere between 10% and 1000%. The speed is how quickly an animation will be played. You can also rotate an animation on the X, Y, and Z axes and offset their X and Y positions. To further customise your animations, you can add sounds and flashes at specified frames. Flashes can use custom colours, and you can also select how long a flash will play for by adjusting the duration. To test how your animations will look in-game, you can click play to see how it will look and sound. You can also customise this section by changing the target and selecting a BG or background. In the next video, we'll look into how to add new tile sets to your project. Thanks for watching, and happy game developing!